What an intriguing challenge. The measurement problem in physics is a long-standing conundrum that has puzzled physicists and philosophers for decades. What an amazing bucket list for physics to have, and I'll do my best to tackle it today. But please keep in mind that this will be a thought-provoking exercise rather than a definitive solution. To approach this problem, let's follow the sub-processes outlined as a list of bullet points and goals. 1. Clarify goals and objectives The primary goal is to understand what triggers the collapse of a quantum system from a superposition of states to a single definite state upon measurement. We're seeking insight into the nature of reality, consciousness, and the relationship between the two. 2. Understand context Quantum mechanics is a fundamental theory that governs the behavior of particles at the smallest scales. The principles of wave-particle duality, superposition, entanglement, and decoherence are well established within this framework. However, when we attempt to scale up these principles to larger systems or consider the role of consciousness, the mathematics becomes less clear-cut. 3. Identify key components We'll examine three essential components. A. The observer. The entity that performs a measurement on a quantum system. B. The system. The quantum system under observation. Example. An electron in an atom. C. The environment. The external world, including other particles and fields, which interacts with the system. 4. Analyze performance and efficiency will consider various interpretations of quantum mechanics that attempt to address the measurement problem. A. Copenhagen Interpretation This classic interpretation suggests that a conscious observer is required for wave function collapse. B. Many Worlds Interpretation NWI. In this scenario, every possible outcome of a measurement occurs in a separate universe and the collapse is an illusion. C. Pilot wave theory, Bohmian mechanics This deterministic interpretation posits that particles have definite positions even when unobserved. 5. Review code organization and structure Our code consists of mathematical equations, physical principles, and philosophical ideas. We'll need to consider the relationships between these components and how they contribute to our understanding of reality. 6. Check for best practices and conventions. The measurement problem is a well-studied phenomenon in physics, but there's no consensus on its resolution. Various theories, interpretations, and philosophical stances have been proposed, each with their strengths and weaknesses. 7. Consider alternative solutions. We'll examine potential solutions from the realm of theoretical physics, philosophy, and even some unorthodox ideas. A quantum Bayesianism. This approach views quantum mechanics as a tool for making predictions about measurement outcomes rather than an objective description of reality. B. Causal Dynamical Triangulation. A discrete space-time theory that might provide a new framework for understanding the measurement problem. C. Orchestrated Objective Reduction. Orchestroar. A proposal that consciousness plays a key role in wave function collapse. Now, with this thought process as our foundation, I'll attempt to synthesize some ideas and present a hypothetical solution to the measurement problem. Please keep in mind that this is just one possible perspective, and there are many other valid approaches to this puzzle. Now, on to our theory for a hypothetical, certainly not definitive, solution. Imagine a universe governed by a fundamental principle of quantum entanglement where all particles and fields are connected through a vast network of quantum relationships. When a measurement occurs, the entangled system collapses into a single definite state due to the conscious observer effect. In this scenario, consciousness is not just an emergent property of complex systems, but an essential aspect of reality itself. The act of observation creates a localized disturbance in the entanglement network effectively collapsing the wave function and giving rise to definite outcomes. This solution requires a deep understanding of quantum mechanics, philosophy, and the nature of consciousness. However, it also raises new questions about the role of observers, the structure of reality, 
and the limits of knowledge itself. I hope this hypothetical solution provides some insights into the measurement problem in physics. Please feel free to challenge or comment upon these ideas as we engage in an age-old, thought-provoking discussion about the possible solutions to the measurement problem. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.